Hi guys, hey guys, what's up guys? My name is Shalar, and this is A Safe Place. Before we get into this video, hi, welcome if you new if you are new here, sorry. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for coming by. Okay. Thank you for clicking on the video. I know you saw the title and you're interested. Um, make sure you thumbs up this video if you like it. Hit the notification bell so you know every time I upload. Hit the comment section, join the conversation, let me know what you want to see in the future. Subscribe, bleh, join the support group gang, join the family, join you know the circle, the discussion. We got coffee, tea, donuts, all of that, all right, for y'all. If you're not new here, welcome back. You're the real MVP as always. I am always so happy to see you. I'm always so glad that you like to click on my videos and hear what I have to say or see what I put on my face. Without further ado, though, we're going to get into this video. Um, As you saw by the title of this video, this video, I don't know what is going on with my wig. Day. Oh, it's because my cornrow. It's not in the middle of my cornrows. That's that was on me. My bad. Um, I'm I'm kind of flustered. I'm sorry. But um, everything about this face is in a later video. It's gonna be the last video of the year. It's a good one. You should watch it. Um, but we are talking about all my empties that I've finished this year. Some of the stuff I've mentioned in like my lifestyle video. This stuff is not just makeup. It's life. So it's shampoos, soap, all that kind of stuff with makeup in there. If you are curious about what I used up this year, stick around. I'm going to try and get through this as soon as possible. Um, I will link everything that I use down below, as always. And without further ado, let's get into this. Okay, that's better. So these things are in no particular order. Um, so I'm just going to be pulling from this lovely box I have here. So first is my soap. This is soft soap. I've been using this since I was a kid, but this is a coconut butter scrub. I actually really like this and it's good in between like my regular body shower scrubs. And honestly, I was using this with the mocha shower scrub that you're going to see later on. And I thought I smelled like a dope iced coffee, honestly. So <laughs> there's that. I actually just really like it. I like the way it makes my skin feel. It doesn't overly dry me out. So that's nice. Next, lo and behold, it's the mocha coffee scrub. As you can see, it's real empty, like real, real empty. This feels so good on the skin and it makes me feel so smooth everywhere. Like body exfoliating is a new thing for me and I'm obsessed and I like it because I got some more of these and I will re-up on these in the new year, okay? I really like these in the shower. They're not overly greasy, but they do get in there and make your skin feel really good. So there's that. I'm actually very pleased about that. Um, it smells really good too. Like this smells, still smells just like coffee. So mixed with my soap from before, it smells like iced coffee to me. If you don't really like coffee smelling stuff, I, they have other options. Like I have Tahitian vanilla and stuff like that. You can find fewer options, but these are definitely bomb. Next, y'all probably like, really, is a makeup remover. So it is the one size beauty go off moving makeup removing spray I did buy another one of this already I replaced it already but um I like it so it does break down your makeup I have a tendency of putting on too much you don't really have to put on that much but there is this weird thing where you can't really like oh there's so little in here you can't really feel when it's on if you close your eyes and spray it so it's like you can accidentally put on too much and it starts to drip down your face but if you put on the right amount where he says do an F do an F do a, a an O and then do an S and then if you need extra do a little slash like the logo you can feel it breaking down your makeup but it doesn't drip that makes sense um but I do like this I didn't know there was still a little bit in here I'll finish this up and yeah <laughs> next is my shampoo so I use the Jamaican mango and lime shampoo I love how it tingles in my scalp Makes me feel like I'm really getting something done up there when I'm washing my hair out. Um, I also mix this with um, a Shea Moisture co-wash. And I'll do that one first. But I don't use conditioner anymore. And my hair has been thriving once I stopped using conditioner. So, I mean, that's it's just been working for me. This, and occasionally I'll use Pantene to wash it out depending on how harsh I've been washing things. So like if I've been putting a lot of product in, I'll use this and only this because I only wash my hair once a week. But if um, 
if I haven't really been using that much products and I use like one gel the whole week, I'll probably just use the Pantene one and then just go. So yeah. When I do like dramatic face paints and stuff like that and it gets in my hair, I use this and the Pantene together. So my hair is thriving, okay? It's thriving. I am gonna do a, like a hair journey with you because I am growing out the sides in the back of my hair. I'm sorry, I got glitter in my eye. Um, but moving on, the next thing is my Freeman's face mask. Now, um, this is a new one. I had already finished the other one and accidentally threw it out before I did this video. So this is a new one, but it's the same exact one. Um, you guys have seen me use it on my story. You have heard me talk about it in my lifestyle video. I still use this. I re-upped on it and I re-upped on the gold one, even though my gold one's not done yet. Um, ooh, they last a while. I told you I dropped something in the video. They last a pretty long while because, you know, I do them once a week and that's pretty frequent. Some people do it once a month. All depends on your preference. I'm sorry, there's still glitter in my eye. I have glitter on my eye, so that's my fault. My mirror is there, sorry. Um, but yeah, so, ooh. I finished that, love it. I mix it with the gold one and make one mask. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but it works for me, so I'm gonna keep doing it, yeah. Next is this e.l.f. Super Mask. So this is a set, and I do have the toner, and I do have the cleanser, and I have the other piece to it, which is a regular moisturizer. I finished this, though, and it's, like, empty, empty. I don't know if you can really see that because it's white, but it's empty, empty. <laughs> um, I finished it. I love it. It smells really good, too. It smells slightly citrusy. I put it on top of my clay mask to break up the clay mask, and when it breaks up the clay mask and then it, like, seeps through the clay mask, in my mind, that's how it works. It's been working for me. My skin been okay. So, hey, I'm also not a specialist in you know skincare so don't necessarily take what i say for you know facts okay just i'm just saying what works for me and skincare is kind of personal so that's why okay last on this list not last i lied there's two more things in this list but the last two i can put them in the same clip is the max the mac fix plus setting spray so this was the first one i got and i got a small one because i've never used it before but i've heard like over the last couple of years this is a, like a holy grail staple for like every makeup artist and every big beauty influencer out there. And I was like, what is so great about it? Now I know. It is really good for blending things, okay? Really good. So I did have, I do have another one, another mini one, and I have a full size one already going into my project pan. So I'm prepared. But the last thing is this. And you're probably like, what the heck is that? It is a lip balm from Juvia's Place. So Juvia's Place came out with lip balms this year. I have about five of them. I lied. Four? Four. I have three more. I just finished this one. This one was the caramel one. So let me show you how much I finished. As you can see, I'm still turning and that's what's left. So I actually really like the formula on these and they smell great. I'm not a big fan of the caramel smells, so I wouldn't rebuy this one, but I'm a big fan of the fruitier smells. So yeah, that was it. I ran through this because I didn't want it to be long, but that's all of my favorites that I finished this year. So I hope everything was useful. I hope you guys see some stuff you want to try. Um, I will let you know if there's anything else I finish because I am planning on doing a project pan next year. So I'm probably going to do updates about that. I haven't fully decided yet. If you watch my video with this face and my last video, it's my last video of the year on New Year's Eve, you'll understand why. We'll get there in the future when we get there. But until next time, stay beautiful stay refreshed stay aware of yourself in the sense of your mental and emotional state okay if you need help ask for it if you feel like you can help somebody else without triggering your own issues go ahead but just keep yourself together and safe in all aspects of the word and until next time stay beautifully you